want you to share with us your journey of what um, has brought you to who you are today. How did you start out singing? Give us some background about who Cynthia Tucker is. Well, uh, I am a wife of a husband for the last 18 years. I have five children. God bless my soul. Uh, <laughs> that's hard. That's hard. Anybody that has children, you know, that's hard. And to do ministry on top of it. Mm -hmm. um, God is so great. I started out in ministry uh, with my grandmother at a good Baptist solid foundation church. And from there, uh, the Lord took me to uh, the great city of Pontiac with Bishop William H. Murphy Jr. Uh, where I serve there. We are one church in three locations, so I'm very proud of that. Uh, I serve alongside Bishop son as the minister of music, um, assistant to him, and God kept giving me song after song after song, and you know, I said, well, Lord, um, I don't know what to do with all these songs, and literally, he put it in my spirit to move forward with my own project, and it's out. Uh, it's entitled Victory. Please go pick it up. Uh, it's available here in this great city, uh, as well as Pontiac, um, as well as Detroit, God's World, uh, and even in Saginaw, I've raised records as well. But in any case, in the event, uh, I was blessed to be um, given the opportunity to minister alongside of Bishop Murphy, uh, to minister along with um, Elder Murphy, who is now Pastor Murphy in the great city of Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and even with uh, Elder Rod Lumpkin, who is the Minister of Music for Bishop um, Paul S. Morton. Mm -hmm. So I've been blessed. I really have. Uh, they've taken me under their wing to guide me and, and just bless me with the gifts that God has given them. And I'm looking forward to going higher and I'm looking forward to going deeper in the Lord. That is awesome, Cynthia. And for some of you that don't know, uh, Bishop uh, William Murphy the third. third. <laughs> now is that that is the uh, praise is what I do. That's Mr. Praise is that what Mr. I do. Praise is what That's I what, do. And yes. you know everybody that at one time that was like a national anthem. I everybody believe it still is. That. That's right. I love that song. <laughs> I Actually, believe it still because is. I'm sure that's what you do. Yes. And I know that's what I do. I love right. to praise the Lord. That is awesome. Um, and in that Flint area, you can go to the music planet, is yes. that right? Music And you can pick up Cynthia Tucker's CG Victory. I want you to share with us, Cynthia, um, we haven't always been in, on the mountain. Right. You know, we all have valley experiences. Right. And, you know, I know as well as you, it hasn't always been, yes, Lord, it right. hasn't always been, you know, whatever you want me to do. But if you could just share uh, one of your testimonies that where you were in the valley, the lowest point, and God delivered you, could you share I sure can. Yes. Um, I was raised by my grandmother. Uh, that's how I started out in that good, solid, strong Baptist church. And um, I'm thankful for my parents, great parents. Uh, but she raised me, a uh, godly woman. And the Lord took her home in 2000. Mm -hmm. And that was my lowest of my low. And I said, Lord, I'm not going to be able to make it. Uh, I don't think I can go any further. I believe this is the end, not only of me and what it is that you've invested in me, God, but I just can't make another step without that solid foundation of her actually being able to touch her and see her and speak with her. My spiritual guru, and literally uh, it was a song in my spirit uh, and I just kept singing it and I just kept singing it and it, it just it was like the balm of Gilead in, through the ministry mm -hmm. of song and literally uh, God brought me up out of that. Uh, you know, I went through a period of depression. Mm -hmm. I went through a period of why me and uh, went through a period of, of God, you know, why, you know, and I felt like, you know, I kept reading Job and I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, well, Job, you lost all these things, you know, and I kept saying, but there's only one mama. You know, there's one mama. You lost some children, but there's only one mother. Uh, but in any case, in any event, I feel glad about the fact that the Lord didn't turn his back on me. Mm -hmm. God didn't say, you know what, you crazy, and I'm going to stop being bothered with you. I'm going to fall out with you. God didn't do that. God said, you know what, daughter? I'm a God of love. I'm a God of reconciliation. And I extend my hand to you so much so that I'm going to love you through the thing that you're going through right now. Praise and that was the death of my mom. Wow, praise the Lord. Um, you know, a lot of times, and I know that, you know, there's a song about in the valley, mm -hmm. and it talks about how you find the Lord in the valley, right. even peace, even joy. A lot of times we have to go through it right. to get to it.
Lord, grant us change. Want to be more like you. We need a change. Uh, one of the songs that really touched my heart on the project is a song that I do with uh, Pastor Murphy the Third. Uh, the song is called Change, mm -hmm. and um, the project was done. And you know, they kept coming back. They said, "Well, you know, you need another song." I said, "Well, I don't have any more songs." I said, "You know, this is a song that I sing to myself. You know, in a, in a time of worship with me and the Lord and that prayer time. You know." And they were like, "Well, let let me hear it." I said, "Well, no, I don't really want to," and I sung it. And uh, I just put down some, you know, dummy backs for all of the good music people. Just some dummy backs real quick. And uh, I was leaving the great state of Texas with Shannon Davis, who is uh, one of the producers of the project. Um, he's done so much, I can't tell it all. Uh, but he is the young man that has done uh, Pastor Murphy's projects in the past as well. So. Shannon actually was dropping me off at the airport in Texas and picking up Pastor Murphy in Texas and the CD was still in and as he played it, uh, Pastor Murphy said, well you know what, uh, the Lord's telling me I've got to be a part of that. And he came in and he blessed my heart so uh, by being a part of that project. It's a song that we do together. And I decree, a lot of people say, well, it's the Barack Obama we need to change. Mm -hmm. No, it's the change of the Lord that we need. I'm very thankful for our president. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy about it. Uh, but it's the change of God that we need. Not another anointing, not another dimension, not another level, mm -hmm. but the Spirit of God is the one that's going to get us the change that's going to come from the inside mm -hmm. unto the outside. To you know what they say, what? Tuck, you look different. Mm -hmm. You act different. Praise you God. smell different. Uh -huh. And that's God. <laughs> so I'm very Lord. thankful. You know, Cynthia, I heard it uh, had been said, uh, yes, he's the rock, but he's not the, the rock. rock. <laughs> you better help yes, somebody. Yes, he's not the rock. And on Christ, the solid rock. That's what we going to stand. Okay. That's what we going to stand. That, that is awesome. Um, you know, this show is actually called Heart to Heart because was from the heart, reaches the heart. Right. And as you was sharing about the song, and that's why I'm sure Pastor Murphy, you right. know, wanted to be a part of that. It's all about being real. Right. You know, and we do have so many singers out here. Right. Um, awesome. For whatever reason, though, Cynthia, you know, they might want it for the money. They yeah. might want it for the fame. Yeah. But one thing about it was from the heart, it's, right. oh my God, it right. reaches the heart. And when it does that, that's awesome. That's God's perfect will. Isn't he great? Yes, it is. What is your next um, aspiration? What is it that you want to do uh, now? What is it um, in the Lord that you want him to do for you that he hasn't done just yet? Actually, truthfully, I heard a man of God uh, by the name of Bishop McCargo say that when God gives you a job, uh, that job is your ministry and you're supposed to bring the people to the body of Christ. And I'm in agreement with that uh, to the extent that I really want the Lord to take me to a position where ministry mm -hmm. is my job. I figure that if I can go and give Pontiac Police Department, for those of you that don't know, I'm a police officer in the great city of Pontiac. And that is awesome. Oh, oh go and pray goodness. for me. Pray oh, for me. Goodness. Pray for me. Most definitely. Uh, but when God gave me that job, I was very thankful. Uh, I love it. It's wonderful, very exciting. But I want the Lord to take me to a place in a position where I can be in Him 24-7. Mm -hmm. mm. I think that we get nuggets and glimpses of what God really wants us to do with our entire lives. Mm -hmm. I know that I was created. I know that my destiny and my purpose is ministry as far as praise and worship is concerned, as far as spreading the gospel through song, as far as spreading the gospel through the exhortation of His Word and teaching as well. But I want him to take me to a place where I don't go to Pontiac PD for 10 hours out of a day. Uh, at least that's my minimum, 10 hours. Mm -hmm. I figure that if I can use that same energy, that same thought processes in the kingdom of God, 10 hours a day, just for the kingdom of God. The Bible says he puts one, one puts a thousand to fly, mm -hmm. two puts 10,000 to fly. I think that when my anointing hooks up with your anointing, mm -hmm. God takes us to a place in him that where we're not just doing church, we're doing kingdom. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's about, kingdom. I exactly. want the kingdom of God mm -hmm. to come forward through my life, so much so that notable miracles, healings, and deliverances take place. Oh. Not because I'm singing, not because I'm going forward in the word, but because I'm just in the midst of the worship experience. I'm a